Hello, this is Bryson Englin of Sonoma Partners with the second video in our series about Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013 for architecture, engineering, and construction firms. So in the last video, we did a navigation overview just to give you a sense of how to walk through the system. And in this video, we are going to talk about working with accounts. So I'm here on an account form. So this is a client of ours in our fake architecture, engineering, and construction company. So with these forms, all of these forms follow a very similar format. So I'm going to walk through the account form. And when I do that, you'll really get a preview, a sense of how all of the forms work in Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2013. So at the top of the form, you can see that this is a company or a client, an account that we work with, just based off of what's going on with the form selector. Beneath that, you see the name of the client that we're working with, Kaiser Permanente. And you can also add their logo to this form as well. Over to the right, this is what I like to call the scorecard. And the scorecard allows you to display high level metrics about each record. So for a account where we're worried about the relationship, we want to know things like when did we last contact them? How many meetings have we had with them in the last six months? How many calls? How many emails? And that scorecard is going to be true of any record that you work with. So for an opportunity, it might be how much is the estimated revenue? When is that revenue coming in? And what stage is the opportunity in that process? The scorecard is a really good place for end users to immediately see the things that they're being graded on. And it's also a really good place for executives to be able to capture those metrics so that they populate the data that's necessary for all of their reports and dashboards. So make sure you use that scorecard to your advantage. Beneath the scorecard, we've got three columns. The column all the way on the left, that is the meat and bones of this record. This is the actual data of this account, Kaiser Permanente. So things like their company name, their website, their phone number, and then beneath that, their address. And beneath that, out of the box in Dynamics 2013, there is a Bing map. So you can click on that to get turn by turn directions. And that map exists on the account form, the contact form, and the lead form, all out of the box. The column directly over, right in the center, that's what I like to call the relationship pane. So this is where you can actually see updates about this account. So it answers the question, what's going on with this record? The first tab in this relationship pane is Microsoft Yammer. So Yammer is Microsoft's enterprise social collaboration platform. So you can see that this is where people interact and they can talk about what's going on with this account. They can share updates about it. They can share documents. They can collaborate on documents, all kinds of fun stuff. Think of this as sort of Facebook for your enterprise embedded on the account. And you can get these different updates about Kaiser Permanente right here on the record up against the meat and bones of Kaiser Permanente on the left. You can also get a summary of all of the records that you're following, all of the accounts and opportunities and projects. You can also get an email daily digest of all of the updates from Yammer in your email inbox. The next tab in this relationship pane are the system posts. So this is where the system itself, CRM, is telling me updates about what's going on with the account. So these posts are created by the system via workflow. And workflow is basically just a way to automate your business processes, where you say to the system, we're going to put a rule in that says, every time that an opportunity goes from stage one to stage two, we want to get a system post, an update about that. Or if someone creates a new task or has a new appointment, I want to see an update about that. So these system posts are, are created by the system, and it's a way for you to just know what's going on with this account. Next is the Activities tab. So this is going to be all of the activity for all of your users over time. So in my demo environment, I'm the only one who uses this. So you can see that all of the activity come from me. But in your real environment, the one that you actually use, you will see all of the activities created by anyone related to this account or whatever record we're working with. Those activities can be created in CRM, or some of them can be created in Outlook. So things like tasks, or things like emails, or things like appointments. Those things can be created in Outlook, and they get pushed up into Dynamic CRM. And adding a record to activities is very simple. You could choose to add a phone call, and you just have this hover over that keeps it so that all of your phone call notes and what's going on is in line with the meat and bones over on the left, and then what's going on over on the right, which I'll explain in a minute. 
The other thing that's great about this is that this will actually interface with Microsoft Linked and Microsoft Skype, and we can build integrations to other types of uh, phone things that you use, like Cisco or what have you, so that when you click on the phone number, it automatically generates that phone call record for you. So you basically follow the workflow of I'm on an account, click on the phone number, it populates a phone call record for you. I just type in my notes while I'm on the phone, click OK, and I'm done. Very simple. Finally, in this relationship pane are notes. So this is where you just enter unstructured data. If you don't have a field for that information, just put it in notes. You can even append documents here. The final column over on the right is related records. So for every company, they're going to have people who work for them, contacts. They're going to have opportunities, business that you're trying to win. They're going to have projects that you've worked on. And then other things like the account team. So these are the folks that work for our AEC firm that interface with Kaiser Permanente. As I've scrolled down, you've also noticed on the left-hand side in that meat and bones area, I just have a simple chart here that shows me the client win rate for this particular client. So that's one view of the account. Some fun things I can do though is if I want to add a new contact to here, I can hit the plus button and I can either use the quick create, which drops down from the navigation to add a new person to this. So I could just type in a name, their, num their number uh, populates and defaults directly from the account, as does their address, but I can change this if I want to. So it's that simple to add a new contact to an account record. And the quick create is always going to be there for you, even if you're on a dashboard or if you're on a report. You can quick create any kind of entity that you want in the system to add whatever you need. And then once you're done quick creating that, you just go back to where you were. So this is the main account form that I use. And you'll see that there's a list of a bunch of different account forms. So that means that you can have different forms for different people and different forms for different processes. So this is the form that everybody just by default lands on. But let's say that every year we take some time to do account planning, where we look at this account from a very high level and we strategize what are we going to do over the next year in order to win more business with these folks. So you'll note that this form is a little bit different. Some of the things over on the right hand side are a little different. Some of the fields are a little different. So far the top part looks very similar, but as I scroll down you'll see there are other sections here with different pieces of information. And one of the fun things I can do with a form in Dynamics 2013 is I can collapse the tabs. I can kind of temporarily shut this chapter of this account form down and I can open up another chapter like subsidiaries and affiliates. So we may work with Kaiser Permanente from a national level, but then they have different uh, subsidiaries and other entities that we do business with. I can view those here. These are all records in their own right. I could open up one of these subsidiaries. It would have an account form that looks pretty much the same as Kaiser Permanente, just with different data. I can even call these accounts directly from here. Other things you might want in your account plan are just some high level views of what's going on with the account. This is going to allow you to sort of see what are they doing today and how can we help them tomorrow. So things like the key opportunities for growth, things like what are they doing from a capital perspective, who are our competitors on this account, and then what are our goals moving forward. So this is something that you probably only do once a year. You look at what's going on with that client and then you also look at who do we know over at that client. Who are the folks who are the key contacts related to this particular client? Who knows who? And how do we build that relationship? Then the final part of the strategic plan is just laying out, this is what we're going to do. This is who's going to do it. So you can have that master, that, that main account form, that is your sort of day-to-day, -day, this is what's going on with the account. And then you can also have a form that is related to looking at the account from a strategic level, that account plan form. In addition to that, you can have other forms that are specific to different parts of your business. So the marketing people have their form, biz dev people have their form, operations people see their form, and they only see the forms that are related to, to them, maybe the main account form and the operations form. So what I want to do is I want to do another video on opportunities. So we'll talk about that next. But I'm wrapping up for the account, and I hope that you have uh, gotten all the information that you want. But if you have additional questions, of course, you can contact us at Sonoma Partners, and we'd be happy to talk to you more about working with accounts in AEC. Thanks so much.